With the launch of the Apple iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone users can now use USB-C. Having a USB-C port is a huge step for mobile videography because it opens up external storage and external capture. And with faster data transfer, better compatibility, and more power delivery for faster charging, the iPhone 15 Pro's USB-C port is transforming mobile videography for the better. Having USB-C connected storage enables so many features that videographers can take advantage of. For example, the iPhone 15 Pro can shoot directly to an external storage drive like the Samsung T7. This is super helpful when shooting large file types like 4K ProRes at 60 frames per second directly out of the camera. And because the Samsung SSDs offer a low power consumption, they'll give the iPhone 15 Pro a better battery life, giving you more time to shoot. USB-C also allows videographers to speed up their workflows. Because you can now connect external drives directly to your iPhone, you can always have your assets at the ready. And it creates a much better storage workflow because you can create your own folder structure. Also, with external storage, you can save and archive many final exports without running out of storage space. Plus, you can back up your projects or any unused content. You never know when something that didn't work for a current project might be helpful in a future one. Now let's take a look at how this all works. The connection is simple. The cable is the same on both sides and it doesn't matter how it's connected as long as it's connected. As soon as the phone and the USB device are connected, you're good to go. Since Samsung portable SSDs are formatted with XFAT already, just plug and play. Now that they're connected, you can move your data from your phone or to your phone. Let's do that. We have a few pre-made assets that we would like to use for our next edit. We'll access the T7 through the Files app. We'll find the drive and within that, we have the three files we need to transfer. We'll grab them and drag them onto the phone. Taking things off your phone is just about the same process. Next, you can record directly to the drive. This is a great option if you want to take advantage of the iPhone 15 Pro's ability to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second in ProRes because it will eat up a lot of storage. To set this up, go to Settings and then to Camera. Next, go to Format and enable ProRes. Within ProRes encoding, you can also choose to shoot in Log or HDR if you want. Now, going back to the camera app, you'll see it now has a ProRes button at the top. This is where you can toggle it on and off. Let's toggle it off and plug in our SSD, the Samsung T7. When we toggle it back on, it will say that it's recording via USB-C. Plus, on the top, it will display the maximum record time you have left on the drive. With the Samsung T7, we can transfer files quickly. And because they come in 500 gigs to two terabytes in size, you won't have to worry about filling them up fast. The Samsung T7 Shield and T9 even comes in a four terabyte version. Plus, they're small and robust, so you can bring them along wherever you go. To learn more about the Samsung T7, T7 Shield, or T9, click this link or the link in the description. Thanks for watching.